Hoi there, small fry, and welcome to Itch.io Tasty, the series where we put a random word into the itch.io search bar and see what kind of weird, random, fun, sort of interesting, but maybe not, games we find. The cult-like frenzy around No Man's Sky is still at an all-time high, so why not cash in on that? That's what we do best here. Now, putting in Sky, or No Man's Sky into the search bar throws up hundreds of results. There was no way I was gonna get through that, so that was a waste of time. I was gonna go with procedural, like, you know, procedurally generated content, but that did the same. There's thousands of procedural games on H.I.O. So, what I did was I put Halo in, because Halo games made No Man's Sky, and these are a bunch of Halo games. So that kind of worked. If you see what that it shut up anyway. We kick off with Hello Talking Simulator. This is one of those experimental games. There's not really any interaction. You're walking around a variety of office-like environments, walking through different doors to denote your responses to a conversation. The uh, other person in the conversation has their speech represented as text on a wall. So you read the text on the wall, then you walk through the door with the response you want to make. It's only a demo, I don't know if they ever plan to expand it beyond that, but who knows? The environments are well, you know, they're well made, got a nice sort of abstract take on a corporate environment, and I'm sure the game's got a lot to say about that, but I don't know anything about that. Decently crafted enough, not a lot going on, but it doesn't cost anything, it's, it's, it's a, it's a game, it's a, a thing, it's a thing, alright, it's a thing, so that exists. I'm gonna give this one a billion procedurally generated planets out of trillion. A game simply called Hello is a game that I don't even, I, I don't even, I don't know, I don't understand. You use the directional keys to make it go up and down, that wobbly smiley face, and you move it along those musical tracks and some text happens telling some story about calling someone or, or something, I don't know. You can make the uh, speed of it go up and down. It's not like you, uh, it's not like the face is moving automatically and you're just going up and down. You have to manually make the face move by pressing, you know, forward. Uh, maybe there would have been more of a game like element, more of a challenge element to it, I guess, if the face was automatically moving and you had to move it up and down to get along those tracks, but there, there's none of that. You really can just take it at your own pace. The music's nice, it's got a very pleasant little acoustic uh, guitar track running through it, and the visuals are very sort of oldy, tiny, cartoony looking. Uh, most of them anyway, some of them are just photos just copied and pasted into it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's, you know, it's got an endearing presentation, but not a lot else beyond that. I hope whoever you're trying to get in contact with gets back in touch with you, though, so... Good luck to you on that, whoever you are. This one gets not enough inventory space out of 10. Hello Alien is a very promising puzzle game and would have been our pick of the week if the controls had been a bit better. The idea is to link up satellites by uh, bouncing lasers off of reflective surfaces, getting rid of asteroids, and doing all sorts of other things. You twist the satellites and they have lasers and you've got to get them all to touch each other in a sequence. Uh, it's a simple game, you know, mirror and reflective and laser puzzles are uh, a little old hat these days. They're certainly something I find a bit eye-rolly when I see them in a lot of games but with a very nice presentation and cute little alien things that scream when they get hit with the lasers, this one's fairly entertaining. The only major problem, and it is a major problem, is that it's a real pain in the ass, a real fiddly pain in the ass to interact with anything. All interactions are done with the mouse. You uh, click and hold and drag to move things around, to rotate the satellites and everything. The It's just, it, it feels off. Like you, you click on a satellite and rotate it, and it'll either go really, really incrementally slowly or wildly swing, uh, depending on, on your movements. And your movements can just be tiny. You can make the tiniest movement and it'll just go haywire. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to quite mesh with your movements. It's certainly not one-to-one, -one, and that really puts you off, and it makes me feel uncomfortable playing it. I get very uncomfortable when I'm doing something with my hand here, and the action on the screen just 
is not aligning with it correctly. It didn't help that halfway through my play session, the mouse's cursor disappeared on the screen, leaving only little red highlights around the objects when my now invisible cursor was over them. So I kind of had to guess where I was in the game in order to move anything. So that's a shame because presentation wise, it's really nice. I like the visuals, I like the music, I like the puzzle elements, you know, at its basic core, but the the actual game itself, the actual uh, interface needs a ton of work. So I'm going to give this one life support low, even though 75% isn't really low out of 10. Lunchtime Ninja is actually pick of the week. It is not the most in-depth game ever made. It's not the most visually pretty game ever made. But out of this lot, it's definitely uh, a fun game. It's an enjoyable little silly stealth game that was made for a Ludum Dare thing, you know, so it's one of those cobbled together things, and what they cobble together is something quite entertaining, for a few minutes anyway. Uh, you play a character in an office, and you are stealing John's lunch. You steal some sandwiches off other co-workers' desks along the way for bonus points, and you've got to avoid other colleagues who are patrolling with big green cones of light showing you uh, their field of vision. Simple and gets repetitive after a while, but for what it is, for something you can just freely download, it ain't bad at all. And also it has that rawr sound effect when one of the colleagues finds you. you. You can hear that in many television shows. I remember it's in an episode of Bottom at one point. Ended up in a lot of comedy shows, usually to just uh, generically signify that someone's annoyed or hurt in some way. Like like the Wilhelm scream, except this one's rawr, rawr. You've heard that one. You know, rawr. you know the one I'm talking about. Anyway, quite like Lunchtime Ninja. So that's why it's pick of the week. That's how that works. So this one's going to get shooting a rock for an hour out of te 10, 10. We actually do have one No Man's Sky spoof that turned up when we searched for Hello. This is No One's Sky, and this is, the this is what you're looking at now. This is what the game consists of. You kind of get the joke after a few seconds when you realise that it's really not going to go beyond this. You travel from planet to planet, when you land on a planet you click the refuel yeah, the button, you refuel okay. and then you do the same. It's a parody, you see. It's a satire of No Man's Sky. It's what they're, they're, they're taking the piss out of it, is what they're doing. Because they're saying that that's all you do, you know, you go to planet to planet Please just getting fuel. And doing a lot of waiting as it travels. That, that's, that's the, you choose different spaceships, Refueling so th it's got that going for it. I'm even going to read the description of this one so that you really get the joke. Uh, inspired by Hello Games' is No Man's Sky, No One Sky is a game about flying to planets, waiting to refuel your craft and not much else. Hundreds of spaceships to use and planets to find. Just like No Man's Sky, this game does not have multiplayer. And then they did a little winky face with a pointy nose to signify their, their light-hearted sarcasm and ribaldry. I give that one a no out of Man's Sky. Oh yeah, and before we finish, there's this one. Yeah, brilliant, mate. And that's the Itchio Tasty No Man's Sky exploitation special. Hope you liked it. Um, have I got anything else to say? No, not really. Guess I'll go then. I won't keep you waiting. So until next time, get itchy and stay tasty, my friends. I'm going to go and do something else.